open, honest, genuine. Once I set foot in here, I never wanted to leave. There's a real kind of family feel to this place that I've never known in any other gym and I think that all comes from him. Someone who rides with you through your highs and lows. I feel like I've got someone on my side. He's infinitely patient with you. He really knows how to spot where you need to progress and push you in that direction. I choose to come here every morning, hours drive, 10 to 4 wake up just because of the atmosphere, morale. I told my career advisor that I'd like to pursue a career in fitness and I was quickly told that that was something to be avoided. I think it's pretty funny how like the full circle comes around and you know now we're sitting here uh, almost 15 years later and I've got my own personal training studio. So I felt like yeah there was a sense of I, I knew what I wanted to do, I wanted to be in fitness, I was an active kid and now I get to help people for a living. First day as a first job, it was at Vision Personal Training. I was taken through a crazy workout to prove myself. I got there at 5 a.m. I stayed pretty much all day because I wanted to, you know, the, the job wasn't guaranteed back then, so I wanted to do everything I could to try and prove myself that day. I trained with the, the boss, I shadowed, I cleaned the toilets, I did everything above and beyond what I thought I should. Day one and then I was you know, back in the next day at 5am. Probably one of the scariest times of my life, just taking away the security that was there. But I knew, I was almost that tunnel vision of what I wanted to achieve. So as soon as I left, I made it routine to stick with the same routine as I was personal training, even though I had no clients wake up the same time every morning, do my personal development, set my goals. I was training a couple of clients, you know, in parks and stuff like that. It surely wasn't enough to keep me afloat. It was probably, yeah, definitely one of the toughest times in my life, the, the unknown before I set up here. Stay focused on my goal of just opening up a studio, just focusing on my mindset. Trip to the US, I went to a place called Soul Cycle, and it was probably one of the most amazing experiences I've had in a fitness class when I went in just the element of like you're leaving feeling just amazing it wasn't just a physical workout it was almost mentally feeling great spiritually so that's what I really liked about the name is that we can come through come here and go through the motions you know a physical workout but if we can tap into someone's mentality and make them feel better and be better that's what we kind of strive for it starts for me if I'm not practicing what I'm preaching then how can I ask my clients and my staff to do the same. Hopefully it trickles down to my clients, the trainers, and then their clients. And if we practice what we preach, then the clients are gonna follow. So I think culture is a huge thing. Uh, it starts with us. My daily dose of motivation will come pretty much at 4 a.m. every morning. I'll go through some personal development and it's usually every day it's Gary Vaynerchuk. It's just all I need every morning when I wake up. He does a daily vlog, whether it's five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour. I start with that and then I'll jot down my diary, my goals for the day, have breakfast and then get to it. Someone like Luke, who's invested so much money over the years, in developing himself as a trainer, obviously specifically for athletes, which is you know what I strive to be. I feel like it's an investment in not only my health, but also just knowledge. I mean, every session I come away learning something from, from Luke, I can pass that on to my trainers and my clients. Yeah, he knows how to get the best out of me with my events being triathlons, basketball, swimming, so yeah. Setting this up was huge. Number two will probably be, you know, winning my two national titles in swimming. They were huge moments of mine, something I've, you know, worked so hard and for so long to achieve. So to be number one in Australia for your event. Meeting my wife through swimming was, is, you know, huge for me. Completely changed my life. Definitely that one. She knows how to get the best out of me. She knows my goals, I share them with her. So she knows if I'm getting down the dumps, which is very, very rare, she'll pull me back up and keep me going. You know, not many partners 
buy you tickets for Tony Robbins, you know, to go to a three-day event to work on yourself as a person. So I think we share something in common. We're both goal-driven. We're healthy, fitness, active. She keeps me on point. <laughs> I've got one that's really simple, and it's it's from Gary Vaynerchuk. He preaches just being grateful and, and patient, and his quote is 400 trillion to one. And what that means is the chances of you becoming a human being is 400 trillion to one. So people are looking for miracles in life and you've already lived three of them just being here. So if you wake up and you're grateful for just who you are as a person, you know, the fact that you're even here, you can only go up from there.